Hi, this is Nell and I'm continuing on with the succulent creations and today I'm going to do a little succulent birdhouse. And this was actually just plain balsa wood. It was that color. And I painted it with some uh, paints I've used on the interior of my house and now I'm going to decorate it with succulents. But what I want to do, um, why I wanted to show it to you small is because you can also do it large because birdhouses come large. So you could do a real nice large piece, but it, it would be the same as doing this small one. Obviously you would just use bigger pieces of succulents and you would use more succulents. So as you can see, I have the moss on here. And what I did is I simply rolled this um, preserved and dyed Spanish moss into a bowl and then I glued it at different points too get it to stay on to here and with a birdhouse's size it's small so you want to use small succulent cuttings otherwise they'll be too heavy and too big because as you know succulents store water in their leaves and as you can see I'm not doing any kind of a pattern here you can also use a glue like E6000 or, or something on this it's just going to take longer to dry and on this slant I think it's better just to use the hot glue it's definitely a little bit on the easier side I find and I'm not gonna sell this so I'm just putting the glue lightly on and now my little birdhouse is all done I got this birdhouse at Michaels for like a dollar so it's a really inexpensive thing and how sweet this would be as a little place setting or to give us a gift and, and it actually hangs too. It hangs fine. <laughs> it doesn't go all uh, cattywampus all over the place. And I've just used, as, as you can see, just some small succulent cuttings. And you do have to use just tiny little pieces on a size like that. And I just put, as you saw, just little dabs of glue on and it all stays on just fine. And this would last for quite some time and you, you would want to give it a spray. Um, every every other week or so just to get just to give it a little moisture but it's gonna last but it's gonna last for quite some time and you can find the blog post that goes along with this video on our blog called garden gluttony that's at joyousgarden.com slash blog and be sure to come back and see us again at joyous garden tv because we post a video for you every week thanks so much for watching <music>